matchup. Oh. You just cannot hold the Mizzou softball program down. The Tigers are headed back to the NCAA tournament for the 12th consecutive season as Mizzou learned its postseason fate during the selection show on Sunday night. Gina Fogues Tigers will head to Norman, Oklahoma, the home of the defending national champions, to open up postseason play on Friday at 3.30 p.m. Central Time when they take on Tulsa. It was close. Mizzou finished the regular season just one game over 500, but ultimately the entire strength of their resume, including playing one of the nation's toughest schedules all season long, was good enough to get the Tigers back into the tournament. The girls have been great all year. They, I think the way that they played together, the way that they pulled and pulled through all everything, and they, they just keep fighting and they're resilient, and it's it's been awesome. You know, I think I was I was happy to to watch them all celebrate. Anything can happen. Um, it's postseason. We're O and O. Everybody's O and O, and and so you have to go out there and prove yourself. And it doesn't matter what seed you are, one through four at your regional. You just have to show up and, and play your game. I mean, any, anything can happen on any, any given day, especially in, in the postseason. You just got to keep playing as hard as you can every single day. No opponent's going to be easy, and you just got to go out and be the best that you can be in, in that day. Ultimately, it may very well have been Mizzou's strength of schedule that was the difference between getting into the NCAA tournament and being left out. Mizzou played one of the country's toughest schedules at time, ranked the toughest schedule in the nation, and that included plenty of matchups with top caliber SEC foes. The Southeastern Conference once again setting a record by getting all 13 teams into the field of 64, with nine of the top 16 seeds, a new record for the conference. It's just every single weekend you know you're going to face a really good team and you always have to be on your game and that's why the SEC is one of the best in the nation and to be able to face like the best teams every single week you are also prepared to face any team across the nation. 12 consecutive regionals for this program you've been a part of that as a player an assistant coach and now as the head coach you've been a part of all of them. How amazing is that and how much does that mean to you? It's, it's huge you know I think you know, as an alum and as an old player, you, you just you want to continue that tradition. You're proud to you're proud to coach here, and you don't you don't you want to see the school do well. It feels amazing just to keep the legacy that the people before us have um, put in place, um, just to keep it going and get to another regional is pretty amazing. Keep moving forward. I mean, we've been we've been dealt a pretty pretty tough hand, but there's no excuses for any of the, of the stuff that we have to go through, and so we just been have have been using it to our advantage and just been playing. Like, every game's a brand new game. It's opening day, and we're just going to go at it. So, again, Mizzou and Tulsa Friday in Norman, Oklahoma. You can watch the game streaming live on Watch ESPN or the ESPN app. You want to make sure to stay connected with the Mizzou softball team's social media channels and MUTigers.com for updated game times and television information as Mizzou goes through the postseason. I'm Ben Arnett for the Mizzou Network.